Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of my A350 Airbus build. In this video I'll be laying up a nacelle and later in the video I'll explain how my parts always come out shiny out of the mold and how I prepare the surface of the mold after they're 3D printed. So let's get started. Here's the part out of the mold, the nacelle. Looks good. In this portion of the video, I'm going to explain how my parts come out of the mold shiny. So, it's a very simple process. It's the mold itself. The surface, if the surface is shiny and you lay up a part on that shiny mold, the parts should come out shiny, plain and simple. The part that you're laying up is always going to mirror the surface of the mold. So, shiny mold, shiny part, plain and simple. Now, to this is how I prepare the surface of my mold after the 3D printed. Once it comes off the 3D printer, I take a 100 grit sandpaper and sand it down with the 100 grit sandpaper. Once that's done, I'll take um, automotive primer and brush on a layer of the primer. I brush it on so I can brush a thick layer on it to cover the ridge lines in it, um, the printing lines that uh, the printer does. Then I take 220 grit sandpaper and sand that down. Then I'll go to 320 and sand it down. But if you still have those ridge lines in your part, what you want to do again is just repeat the process and take automotive primer again, brush it on and sand with 220 then 320. Okay. Now, once you're done sanding with 320, what I do, I take just regular old spray paint and spray three coats on the surface. I'll spray two light coats, then one heavier coat. Then I'll let that dry. Once that's dry and you've done everything properly, that paint should be shiny on the, um, your mold surface itself. But if it's not, don't worry about it because the next step will take care of it. So next, I'll take a thousand grit sandpaper wet sand the surface of the of the mold. Sand it down, sand, sand, sand. Then I'll take 1500 and sand after that, wet sand after that. Sometimes I'll use 2000, it just depends. Um, also, it just depends how I feel and what I have laying around. So, but normally it's just 1000, 1500, and once in a while 2000 on uh, grit. Once the sanding is done, then I'll take polish. Then I'll polish that surface to get it a mirror-like finish. Then once that mirror-like finish is there, then I'll take uh, release, uh, release wax and wax the surface. And there you have it. So you'll have a surface that on your mold, which is extremely shiny once it's all done. I don't know if you can see this, but this is very shiny and very smooth. So um, that's how I do that. So if you practice and do it, so have a good one. Wait for it. Subscribe!